And I was really impressed with the Colorado fans that stayed and cheered our team off the field. I wish they all would have stayed. What these young men have done for the University of Colorado is amazing. And how they fought through everything is amazing. Um, I couldn't be prouder of them. Yeah, we hurt. We lost. We lost to a good team. Um, and uh, we made some mistakes that kind of gave them a chance to pull away from us. But, uh, you know, first team in 101 years of Pac-10, Pac-12 football, biggest turnaround ever. Only one of four teams to go from last to first um, and since 1959 is the last one. Seventh 10-win season in the school history. We win the bowl game. I think there's three others that have done it, maybe four. Pretty impressive. Um, first sellout since 2008 in our last home game. Place is rocking now. These guys brought Folsom's magic back. These young men. I can't begin to tell you, there's a million other things I could say. Number one, I love them. I love the staff. I love the team. Um, I love their fight. Um, and uh, uh, again, uh, what they've done is amazing. Tonight was tough. There's no doubt about it. Can't put a damper on the whole season. And uh, we'll uh, bounce back and, and go play in the, in the bowl game, which is going to be fun for our guys to play in and, and send these seniors um, out the right way. So I'll take any questions at this time. Questions for Coach? In the back middle. Coach, you mentioned those seniors. Uh, obviously, experience has been so instrumental to this turnaround here. How do you kind of keep the momentum going when you have those seniors who are in the What now? How do you kind of keep the momentum going when you have so many experienced guys who are going to leave the program out there? Well, I'm not really worried about next year right now, to be honest with you. I'm worried about the, getting these seniors through the bowl game. and We have a lot of good players that play. We, there's, um, we have a lot of good football players on our football team that play a lot of plays and um, that aren't seniors, too. Um, these seniors just have unbelievable leadership. You know, three of our five captains are juniors. Um, so we've got a good future ahead of us, but I'm not concerned about that right now. I'm concerned about getting this team through the rest of this uh, bowl season and, and sending them off the right way. Do you have a feeling on what your bowl assignment will be? Um, no, I don't. Um, you know, it's one of the top four in our league, um, wherever, wherever we fall. Um, it, we'll find out Sunday, uh, like everybody else. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll be in the, the, the bowl, the best bowl we can be in, is what we hope. Coach, do you, do you guys want to play in that Rose Bowl? You have to make the case that it should be the team that gets picked up in the Pac-12? We'd love to play in the Rose Bowl. Every, every team in the Pac-12, I believe, wants to play in the Rose Bowl. I know how they do the playoffs, and you understand you want to be in the playoffs, but you'd like for the playoffs to also work through the Rose Bowl every year if you're in the Pac-12. You know, if you're in the SEC, I guess you're going to work through the Sugar Bowl every year. So, uh, you know, that's our goal. I have a picture in my office that I look at every day that's the Rose Bowl. It sits right in front of my desk. I see it every single minute of the day I'm sitting in there. So we'd love to play in the Rose Bowl. Mike, how, how, how surprised are you that uh, as prolific as Jake Browning was this year, he only had, he was only 9 for 24 in this game, uh, 118 yards, and they still, they still beat you 41 10. I mean, how surprising is that? Well, we gave them the short field, you know, three or four times. That's why they scored those points on us. Um, you know, we were concerned more about their running game than we were Jake Browning, to be honest with you. Yeah, Seppo was well and, and ready to go. He had twisted it, they taped it up, he was able to go, and um, he's led us to all of them, so that's um, uh, what we've decided to do. Coach, Seppo's a guy that, no matter what, always takes responsibility, is accountable even maybe sometimes when he, he doesn't need to be, and tonight he clearly is, seems to be beating himself up pretty, pretty hard. What's your message to to him with, with some work left to be done this season. Pick yourself up and get ready to go to the next one. Um, that's the thing about sports. Sports is sometimes, you know, it's tough. It's a, when you play really good teams too and on a big stage, it's even magnified more when something doesn't go your way. And, um, you learn great life lessons in it also. So hopefully, uh, uh, well, hopefully I know he'll bounce back and we'll be ready to roll. Right here on the right. Right on the right. Can you just talk about 
this season has been such a great run for you guys. And even in your two losses, you guys were right there. And to see your team go through a second half like that where you're, you're out of it, um, how hard was that for you to watch these guys? How, how, how hard they fought all year? Yeah, it, it was tough, of course, and they, but they, you know they kept fighting and just kind of got away from us. They're a good football team. They took advantage of our some of our mistakes, and um, we understood that, that that could happen if we did that. Um, and uh, it, you know, of course, it, of course, it's tough to watch. Um, but knowing how they fought, what they've done, um, everything they've been through um, to be here on this stage, to me, it was a huge, um, huge um, accomplishment. Um, definitely, 100%. We wanted to win it. Definitely, it hurts extremely bad. It hurt. It hurt even worse tomorrow and the next day. To be honest with you, um, and uh, so um, they'll just we'll bounce back and get ready for the bowl game and, and go from there. It'll be, it'll be a, a great time with these young men um, sending these seniors out uh, over the bowl time. Obviously, this loss is disappointing for you. But how easy is it for you to? Keep in perspective of, of what this team has done. Oh, I, I definitely can keep it in perspective. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of things that we would like to have accomplished if we won the game, too. Um, but the, the opportunity to get here and keep battling and keep fighting uh, um, and for them to be here is awesome. You know, the, the, last, to the last part of the season, um, you know, it was pretty uh, amazing. Arizona stayed on. Pretty special, and uh, they, you know, especially with what they've done for the university, what they've done for our football program, how they've kind of they've reunited Buff Nation. Uh, you know, you can't say enough about that where they've come from. And we'll we'll build on the left a great they'll leave a great culture, and, and we'll have a very good football team again next year. Coach, what's your message? You know, coming in support of all and going into the world here for your team. Well, you know, number one, they got to uh, finish exams well. <laughs> got that coming up. Um, and number two is we'll get back to practicing and we'll get working hard and, and get focused on whoever we're going to play. And we definitely want to finish with a W, just like the team we're going to play wants to. And, uh, you know, uh, playing in a championship game was a great experience for them also. And I think that it also prepares for the bowl game because this is not like similar, to, more similar to a bowl game than a regular season game. Or did you feel like Seppa was affected physically in the second half? Uh, I mean, he didn't play quite as good as we'd like. I don't, I don't, he looked like he was running okay on it. It looked like he was throwing, he went limping around. The, the trainers had him do all kind of stuff and said he was ready to go. So, um, you know, I definitely would have hoped he would have played a little better, just like he would hope and some other guys on our team needed to play a little better also. So, um, but I, according to him, according to our trainers and watching him, I didn't really see any noticeable limp or anything like that. And, I watched it very closely, you know, the whole game. But of course, when he first went out there, and uh, so. We'll go ahead and take one more. Good. Mike. Yeah. With the, with the short week, do you think it had any effect on the guys? I mean, they had an extra day of preparation and reps. Uh, I would like to say it did, but I don't think so. I, I didn't. It didn't have an uh, uh, advantage on it. We, we we had good practices. We were fresh. Um, we just. Uh, Got behind the eight ball there a few plays in a row at the beginning of the second quarter. Uh, I mean, third quarter, excuse me. Um, that really kind of got it raveling, and then they were able to uh, control the football, running it. They just basically ran it down our throat um, and kept the ball and milked it and did all that. And um, it seemed like that one drive lasted 10 minutes, and uh, we weren't able to stop them. They, so I tipped my hats to their offensive line and running backs. They, they really blocked well and ran well. All right, very good, Mike. Thank you. Thank you.